Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm a first year here at Vanderbilt, majoring in public policy and mathematics. And I wrote Chilly Autumn Evenings for my um, beginning fiction composition um, seminar workshop with Professor Lara Casey last semester. And basically in that course we had two assignments where we had to write 10 to 15 page short story on a topic of our choice incorporating some of the literary elements and other techniques that we had learned throughout the course from reading other short stories and um, learning more about the writing process. And so I wrote Chilly Autumn Evenings as one of mine. I've always been a huge fan of mysteries and kind of suspense tales, and I think translating that into a short story format was really fun and um, also very an, a good learning process for me. And the writing of this piece was really meaningful and memorable to me because it was kind of the first time that I was embarking on a, a large-scale writing project where I was creating a story, creating a, a new narrative, creating new characters, and um, I think there were some challenges with that just in terms of making sure that this vision I had in my head of a story and kind of the intricacies of that and then translating that onto the page was definitely a very challenging process. I think one of the really hard things for me was connecting my view of the 1960s with reality. Um, and I have to thank Professor Casey for letting me know that um, you couldn't just turn on whatever movie you wanted in the 1960s. You had to hope that it was on. Definitely a very important point that I did not know um, before writing this piece. And I think learning about not only the 1960s and, and New England and kind of the setting of my piece, but also just about the writing process, about how I came up with this idea for my story and then it ended up transforming a little bit as I molded it into the end was really, really helpful in terms of how I'm going to approach writing projects in the future. Um, and there were, there were some pretty large revisions um, and this was largely based on the feedback from the other workshop participants and Professor Casey. But when I first kind of put out this um, story onto the page, I think there were some maybe logical inconsistencies that I was ignoring because I was a little bit too close to the narrative. And I think it really helped to have other readers read it and tell me that that doesn't make sense. And um, then I was able to really recognize some of the flaws with the writing and how I can mold the story around um, something that's going to be a more sensical narrative. And I think these steps of going through and checking that everything in all parts of the story accords with other parts and also building a timeline throughout the story so that I know um, who's aware of what information when, which really helps um, unspool the, the motivations of the characters was very helpful. And even now when I'm writing um, academic papers, I think taking those lessons from narrative writing is really, really helpful because you have to know exactly how you're structuring your piece and what components um, are revealed where. So it's definitely, you have to think a lot about how, how your piece is going to be structured um, before composing it. And I think that's definitely something that I'll be applying to my future writing, both um, in, in the academic world and also narratively, because I'm definitely, I've really enjoyed exploring creative writing and it's definitely something that I want to continue to do. So yeah.